Okay, hey everybody, it's Autumn and my name is Maria. If you didn't know already, I'm a registered dietitian, licensed dietitian for Hamilton County Recovery Center in Hamilton County. So for all of you who are ready for a nice warm bowl of soup, we're going to make one for you today. I'm going to have my sister, special guest, Linda Lennon, come join me any minute now, and we're going to have a great time. So buckle down, put on your seatbelt, put on your mask if you're somewhere with a bunch of people you don't know, and if you're not, then just relax and have a great time. And I think we have Linda now. I'm here. <laughs> I should have. And it's really hard. She always gives me a break. Every other, if I can, if she can, not always, but um, she just really makes my day. So hopefully she'll make yours too. Yeah. So I just want to um, let you know she has her son, who's totally awesome, as our fabulous cameraman. So this is just a wonderful day for me. How about you, Linda? Yeah, I'm excited because this is one of my favorite recipes. Okay. And the nice thing about it, I want to just tell you now, it's a chicken tortilla soup, but you can do variations on it. Okay. One good variation that I love is I ended up from chicken to ground beef. And the reason I use ground beef is I am um, anemic. Okay. So I need to eat red meat at least once a week or so. Okay. And you can use, actually, I don't know if you know this, but you can use the dark meat chicken for your iron. Oh, I did not know that. Okay. Oh, I do love thighs, so that's good. Yeah. That's yeah. my favorite guy. Okay. But anyway, what you do is if you use the same exact recipe as what you're going to post, uh -huh. You, instead of chicken, you when you're sauteing your onions and your garlic, you add a gr pound of ground chuck, uh -huh. drain all the grease off, and then the only other variation is cups less of the chicken broth. Okay. Because you want it more of a chili uh -huh. texture. You don't want it real brothy and soupy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so it'll be what I call taco chili. Uh -huh, but you okay. use the same toppings, the same ingredients, same yeah. seasoning, everything else okay. is the same. Chicken, or we can go with beef. Or yeah. vegetarian, I just thought. Thank you, because we have a lot of vegetarians out there. Yeah, and you can use vegetable broth instead of chicken, uh -huh. and instead of just the tomatoes and the black beans, add some pinto beans, add some... Penanelli, oh. or northern. Yeah, the white beans. Yeah. 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 Good. So, okay. there's all kinds of variations. Just David so Schumacher know. says good morning. And yeah. Brian, good morning, David. Brian says hello, ladies and shake. Yeah, and if it doesn't go up, then you can scroll up to see more... Um, comments. Yeah, yeah. Um, so say hi if you're yeah, there. Say hi. I'd love to say hi to you on this wonderful Friday. Yeah. Okay. So okay. Anyhow, should we get started first? Yes. Why don't you go over the ingredients, and while you start going over the ingredients, okay. I'll start chopping the onion. Okay. Great. She's a great chopper. She's yeah. a better chopper than me. Yes. Okay. Um, so, um, yeah. So one of the ingredients is onions. Um, I believe we're going to go ahead and put a little olive oil in, so we can saute the onions, yes. right? And let's go ahead and so, turn our burner on, yeah, and we'll yeah. just turn it on kind of like a medium high. Yeah. Okay. So she got a really cool um, Chismax um, type of burner, and um, so that's just something that I'm probably going to get. I have a gas one at home as far as my, you know, stove is concerned. But Can I tell you a little onion secret real quick? Yeah. Onions bother a lot of people. Two things you can do. Put your onion in the refrigerator or the freezer like an hour beforehand. Cold onions do not let off as much of the fumes that make your eyes burn. Oh. Or if you don't have time for that, uh -huh. turn on your sink on really cold water uh -huh. and cut your onion up to a certain point and run it the cold water. Okay. okay. And it'll just kind of keep all of those fumes in. Okay. 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 And what, one more thing I do to save myself from cutting my fingers. Mm -hmm. Pull back the top layer, hold that, uh -huh. and that's what you can hold while you're chopping. Oh, that's excellent. So okay. what I do is I cross cut this I way. I love that tip. Because I just use my, my yeah. claw, so to speak. So yeah. that's awesome. Cross cut that way, and then that's I can really get awesome. nice fine dices. Okay. And I have, I'm holding on to this, so I'm not going to cut my hand at oh, all. Oh, thank you. That's an awesome tip. They, yeah. they never taught us that in school, so. Well, I taught myself. I know, I know. So okay. that's awesome. Now, remember, you can save that if you want to make your own broth. 
Remember all the skins and everything? I am, but I don't do that. Yeah. That's all right. You do because you're really good. Right? No, I'm not really good. But anyhow, so we're going to put the onion in. And we're going to get that um, yeah. translucent. Don't the garlic, yeah. yeah you, you don't want to burn the garlic. Yeah. So we will end up adding a teaspoon of minced garlic. Mm -hmm. And you can use fresh garlic or you can go ahead and cheat because this tastes just as good it's as so good. the minced garlic in the jar. Okay. And it comes in oil or it comes in water. And it's right there by um, usually the nuts and all the other produce type things. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. So we have a, a teaspoon. It's not like a perfect measure, which is fine. And that's something you can put in or put out depending on if you tolerate or like garlic. Um, they actually have new um, mouthwash. It's supposed to kill all the bad breath that, mm -hmm. in fact, you're worried about kissing somebody. Um, mm -hmm. I think sweet stays coming up, actually, if you're from Ohio. I don't know if they have it anywhere else. Yeah, but know. anyhow... Um, Let's so this up a teeny bit. Yeah, yeah. I want to hear a little sizzling going on. Right, there. right. Yeah. So we have olive oil. We have the onions. We will add the garlic in a tad, and then um, we have what I'm going to show you here is the low setting broth. Um, she did get the organic type. You don't have to, but it's always nice if the free range. Like I said, I like those free range little chickens running around. Um, and this is low sodium, gluten free, no antibiotics. Um, this usually costs a couple dollars. Is that about right, Linda? Um, it was like a dollar sixty nine or oh, eighty nine. Okay. It was on sale. That's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. Okay. So this is a uh, four cups or a quart. So that's what she ended up um, purchasing, and that's fine. That's about what I would purchase as well. And you can get other brands. You know, it doesn't have to be um, the I guess Kroger brand. Oh yeah. But. You know, similar at any other store that you would go. Mm -hmm. And um, like she said, you can get the vegetarian um, as well. Or you can make your own broth like I did on a previous um, segment. So anyhow, um, I'll just I'll put that back and she's going to get the broth Actually, here. what I did is I went ahead since I figured, you know what, we're on a little bit of a time challenge here. Yeah, yeah. I went ahead and I put it on the stove top over there right. and it is just steeping. It's just at a real low simmer so it's going to be nice and hot when it hits the yeah, pot. Yeah. Did you want me to go ahead and add the Yeah, go ahead and add it. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just going to... Just make sure that's on the highest setting right there. Yeah. Let's see. I believe it is. Okay. 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 Yeah, so I'll go ahead and add that. And that's going to add a nice aroma. Both Ooh. of these are aromatic type vegetables that have allium and all kinds of wonderful the um, benefits so you definitely want to take advantage of that yeah and this is actually the time if you decide to make it into a taco chili this is the time you would add your ground chuck right and you would go ahead and saute it with the mm -hmm. onions and the garlic until it's completely yeah. browned and then I always drain off the grease yeah so. yeah now if it's me if you can afford it I would go a little higher level and go with the ground round or the Laura lean that's me so it's up to you mm -hmm. a lot of people can't always fit that in their budget and then I would agree with her to go ahead and drain that fat off your beef okay right okay right. we can go ahead and get started adding some things these are it's just starting to soften up a little bit okay uh, the onions and they'll continue cooking see the steam coming off so okay um, we'll go ahead and the next ingredient yeah. is so, we're going to go ahead and add the chicken broth okay yeah, so I'll let you get that. I'm going to go ahead and open up. We've got um, some petite Noetta salt diced tomatoes. So I'm going to open that. Oh, can you hear the sizzling? Yeah, yeah. I, I see it. we got some steam going on. And then I also have some Rotel, which I know Linda uses a lot in different recipes. Um, to make. You, you use this as well, right? For it's got a great bite. If you like spicy, it yeah. has a little bit of spicy, but not overwhelming. Yeah. And I evaluated everything when I came over earlier, and the majority of these products are, are pretty low in sodium, especially when you divide it up into a fair amount of servings, you know. Right. So this is something you could actually make, and really you could freeze in a nice Tupperware mm -hmm. container and date it, Right. you know, if you're a single person. Here, give me that. Thank you. Yeah, and one thing I always do, wash your cans before you use those. I was going to say that you read my oh, mind. I always wash the top of my cans. I pull out cans out of my closet, I see dust all over the top, and you know, sometimes when you open the cans and then the lid falls in. I think, ooh, that would be In my fun. class, I get everybody to wash the tops yeah. of the cans. Yeah, yeah. definitely, because yeah. you don't know where those cans have been, especially mm. right now. we got to be extra right. careful. Thank okay. you for saying that. Yeah. You, you got it. I was going to say it and beat me to it. Okay. So. so we have in the onion, the garlic, the warm broth. Mm -hmm. 
It's all just kind of just simmering right now. Then we're going right. to add in the diced tomatoes. Right. The rotel, which is the tomatoes and chilies. Right, right. Which you could, you know, if you had to, you could add your own, you know, little chilies or peppers or whatever. Right. So, you know, you know why you I love this recipe? No, Anybody I'm... can do it. Well, it's easy, yeah. I mean, once you have your ingredients assembled, it's uh -huh. just basically throw in the pot yeah. and it's a one pot meal. You don't have to have all these different and get sure, you know, truly if anybody watches this now or watches it later, cause we get a lot of views later and I really appreciate that you guys. Um, you know, some of you have your kids still at home and they may be learning online and in between little breaks or mm -hmm. on the weekend, get them to help you, you know, right. they can, no matter what age, Linda and I start cooking when we were probably six and seven, of course, that was 50 years ago, maybe 51 or two years ago, but that's how we got so interested because grilled we, cheese, yeah, yeah, pancakes, right, scrambled eggs. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the corn. Now, this is frozen, that's been thawed, and that's gonna be the freshest, okay? Fresh. I do not like canned corn, yeah, yeah, I don't either. And it's gonna have the sodium in it typically, or you'll have to buy new added salt, and it's sort of a little mushy. So, this is fra or frozen, fresh frozen, which is the number one. And then fresh would be next, but then of course you would typically have to cut it off the cob. Okay, mm -hmm. so okay, I didn't add all that. Don't want to waste any. Okay, no. I'll take that bowl. All right, and that is a carb, just so you know. Thing a soup. Mm -hmm. So the majority of these um, products are all very low in calories. Right. The, the corn is one of the, um, as well as the beans are going to be another carb. So a whole can of black beans. Okay. Which is going to have protein. Mm -hmm. So we got protein and carb. Yeah. Okay. And if you didn't add meat and you have the vegetable broth, then mm -hmm. you just add maybe one or two more cans of extra kinds of beans. Yeah, meats. yeah. You could do a variety of beans for yeah. that matter, whatever you like. But right. that would make it the vegetarian and give you the protein. Right. And I would typically rinse my beans as well, you know, whether they're low salt or not. Right. Okay. okay. This is the chicken. Mm -hmm. Right. If you like it diced. What you can do is dice some raw chicken, and when you're doing the onions and the garlic, go mm -hmm. ahead and saute it in there. You don't even have to worry about it being all the way cooked through because you, it's going to continue cooking as it's in there. Right. This is so easy. I love doing this. I buy either chicken breast or chicken tenders, mm -hmm. and what I do is I just put a cookie sheet, spray a little olive oil on the sheet, throw them on there, spray another little bit on top of the tenders, the oven for 20 minutes yeah pull them out let it kind of just sit for like five to ten minutes so it can get to a cool temperature and then I just shredded this by hand yeah I just take each tender which is relaxing it's it is too. and I think it's it, it for some reason I like the texture better yeah. you're not getting a little chunk you're getting yeah. some nice easy to chew tender mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so whether it's the in the thigh if you need that iron this is eight Chicken tenders. Okay. And what, you just that was how much for you? It's like five dollars. Okay. Okay. So really, and I bought the Amish chicken. Oh. So I mean, I yeah. Don't know. It just sounded like it would be. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, but anyway, otherwise, if you don't use um, like eight chicken tenders, uh -huh. then I would say two to three chicken breasts. Yeah. Are you a cameraman? Can you pan in on that, please? Yeah, it's getting a Thank you. Nice. That, oh my gosh, we're gonna enjoy a nice lunch, and you can too. Yeah. Okay. So. And then the last of this is basically the seasonings. Right. Besides the onion and the garlic, which this is Lynn's idea, right? Or did you get this from somewhere? No, this no, idea. no. This is my taco recipe that okay. I changed to a chicken tortilla. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. So I had gotten it. I've used this for oh my god, so many years. I don't want to talk yeah. about it. Okay, so we're going to use some ranch seasoning, which people use for many different things, dips and all kinds of things, dressings, mm -hmm. and we're going to put that in there to give it some nice flavoring, right? Mm -hmm. The whole okay. thing. Okay. And you can use all or half, you know, if you want to mm -hmm. save it for another day yeah. or dip or something. Right. And then, um, this is then just we've got the Ortega taco seasoning mix, right. so that's interesting. Some people keep that on hand. and uh, Well, I buy that amount uh -huh. because... If you buy the packets, you're spending like a dollar over time. Oh. This cost me three something, but it lasts me like about ten times. Oh, well, well, we need well, center because yeah. we buy packets at the center. We need to have this on hand. That would probably save us some money. Right. So 
I'm going to go ahead and measure that out because you said you use about two tables for this. Two? Right? Yeah. You'll probably have to take this lid off. Oh, just you're right. You're right. I don't know what I'm thinking. Um, two Thank tablespoons you. is the equivalent. And I didn't know this. I had to look it up. What's it's up? the equivalent of one packet of taco seasoning mix. Oh. Okay. So if you have taco Thanks. seasoning mix on hand, use one packet. Right. If you don't, yeah. use two tablespoons. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. I, you know what? I'm glad you said that because yeah. I was going to say what's the equivalent. Okay. Right. And this actually is what gives it that authentic... Mm -hmm. Like Mexican tortilla flavor. Yeah, yeah. So, Which is so popular when I lived for five years. So, right. we, yeah, we had this all the time. Okay. okay. And then basically, once you have all of these ingredients put in, mm -hmm. you just kind of let it simmer for like 10 to 15 minutes, mm -hmm. top. Just to melt all those flavors. And then you're ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. So, we're going to go ahead and let that sit for a minute. Okay. And let me get the lid. And then we'll talk about the toppings that we have okay. to do. Because that's the fun part. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I love the toppings. Sounds good. So is David our only watcher at this point, or we can't tell? No, we have seven viewers. Oh, oh we do. Well, not... say hi. They're, they're... <laughs> Are you being incognito today? Our good-looking people? <laughs> okay. We like to know who you are, but I guess you don't want to let us know. That's all right. That's all right. We'll let you be mysterious. So, right. so anyhow, I just brought over some blue chips. I got buy one, get one free, so I had some regular stone ground, non-GMO. And uh, so these were like some gourmet chips that didn't have um, any saturated fat. It's primarily mono fat. And actually, they're really low in sodium so those were at Kroger's I got this past week so I just bought those just for fun and then what, what makes them blue um you know what blue corn oh, yeah blue corn. yeah exactly mm -hmm. there you go good thanks for the quick answer um that was stem <laughs> ground blue corn and a little canola oil a little salt Doesn't and a little much. lime actually <laughs> which I tried to get a lime today at Kroger's a maniac and I couldn't find a lime so actually I just brought some lime from home if you want to use that just for a little extra seasoning. You don't have to. But they were selling these like crazy, lemon and lime juice, but I could not find a fresh lime to save my life. David says looks great. Oh, thanks. It's going to be delicious. Yeah. Um, real okay. quick, I know probably everybody knows how to do this, but I didn't before I started loving guacamole. Yeah. Um, basically, how you cut an avocado is start at the point where the little stem is and Go all the way around, twist it, yeah. and it'll come out. Yeah. And then I always like to get it real hard. I didn't get really in the center. And yeah. this is really kind of not completely right. Yeah. Yeah. So usually it'll twist better. Usually, I, it, once you get in there, it'll twist. It's not. I just bought so those. We're gonna so we're going to work with. We're going to work. With we'll this just work here. with that one. Yeah. So basically, after you do that, this is the way I like it. Especially if you're just going to use it in a. You yeah, know, like a, a topping. Right. Is I slice That's it. That's what I do. One way, and then little slices the other way. Right. A little checkerboard. And then I'll use a spoon and scoop it out. Right. Just make sure you don't poke all the way through. Or right. Yeah, you don't want to poke your hand. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then we'll go ahead and. Okay. Yeah. Get them out. So. And, and, and usually, you know, I just bought those. You, there was avocados everywhere, so they're really in season. Um, and never buy avocados. These do look like they're pretty ripe, but as soon as you cut into them, you can tell they're not. Yeah. But always, the browner they are, the more ripe they are. Mm -hmm. But the, mm -hmm. what you still want to do is press them. Mm -hmm. If they're mushy, they're overripe. Yeah. So yeah. you want them brown, but still just a little bit of a give to them. Now tell me what you do. I see if I buy a bag of them, then as opposed to one. At I a don't time. buy bags of those or apples usually because really I'm so picky. I need to pick yeah. each one individually. Sometimes I'm trying to save money That's though, right. so I'll buy a bag sometimes, and I'll just put them in the fridge, and then I'll take one out at a time, and then like in a day or two, then I'll use it. Yeah, you know, but or buy, pull two out. You if know. I need it, yeah. I don't right care away. about saving a couple 20 cents. I know. You're right. I can't help it. I'm a little tight. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm tight, but I need to use it. I squeak. Yeah. I know. Okay. And then we have some chopped. What are these, Maria? They are scallions or green onions. Are they chives? No. Okay. Just making sure you know. <laughs> 
And then Dijon, we have the grated cheese up here. Right. Which, which is by low fat, no fat, whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. You can get the Mexican kind. Yeah, which, which is, usually that's light. I do. Yeah. I had this, so. Yeah, I it worked. And then this is light sour cream. Yeah. And I think sour cream is what gives it that nice little tang. Yeah. And I use non-fat yeah. plain yogurt, as you well know. Right. <laughs> And I don't like yogurt, so okay, well, you this, need some yogurt. No, I like yogurt. Not, I mean, on my yeah, um, yeah, okay. on my soups. So if you have guests, okay. you know, give them a choice. Can you get a close up of this? It looks delicious. Yeah, yeah. We're it's, gonna have lunch today. It's really and so good. can you. <laughs> I mean, and really, it is like ready to go because the chicken was cooked ahead. The chicken broth, the onions. We're and gonna garlic. post a picture of this actually yeah. when we're done. Okay. Don't let me forget, and um, then, cameraman. I am a we can do that. Your name. I'm not going to do that. Okay, what we can do is I will go ahead and scoop. Oh, yes, yeah, so we can decorate it. That would be fun. Yeah. We'll both Just go. think the holidays are coming faster than we want. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't want to take too much because it will be very hot. Okay, one scoop there and a little broth. Yep. Okay, thanks. <laughs> I am so spoiled on these days I come here. I like, this is my you're, job. You're killing me. I'm, I, I was meant to serve. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm meant to have, serve in a different way. I'm going to move this over. And, okay. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way. Look at this beautiful cooktop. I love it. I love it. So we have tortillas here that are already done. Um, I was going to practice. I apologize. I am going to practice on making these from scratch. Um, so that's my bad, but um, when I do that, I will show you. Um, however, these are low in sodium, okay? But you have to keep in mind, a serving size is two tablespoons, so it's a garnish. It's not something you just sit there and eat while you're watching the baseball game or football game, okay? It's not just a little snack where you eat the whole thing. Then it sort of takes away from the low-fat, low-sodium, no-cholesterol um, type of thing. There's no saturated fat. There's no trans fat. Um, but two tablespoons is a serving, 35 calories. Remember, calories add up, so you want to be cautious on the toppings so that you don't get crazy, okay? Or we'll overdo it, okay. all right? This is a garnish, remember. So we got a beautiful, well, healthy soup. I have a certain way I like things done, so. Yeah. Because the reason I like my cheese, and other people might too, mm -hmm. I like my cheese to get right on that hot surface okay, so, so it, it can start melting. Right. Okay. And okay. I probably use a little more than you, but yeah, that's, that's all right. right. It is. Yeah. Well, actually, I like me, it to cover the I, surface. I got five bags for like $2 off a bag, or a dollar off every bag. Yeah. So um, I ate too much cheese this week. So oh, okay. actually, I need to cut back. And then I like a little bit of the light sour cream. Yeah. And I like to actually dollop it or dollop. Dollop, dollop, dollop it around. Dollop a daisy. You know what? This isn't daisy, is When it? people actually put one big blop in the middle, yeah. they don't get it in every taste. That's true. So I have But this... it's for the picture, Linda. Oh, I know. But <laughs> I'm all about what it's going to taste like. Well, I am too. Oh, it's from here. Oh, it's so good. You. And smell of vision's working. And then I do like a little green onion. Cool. Because it just gives you that bite. Now, when smell a smell or tell, tell a taste works, then we'll be really yeah. psyched, right? Yeah. So now we will put the scallions, aka green onions. Green onions. Okay. And then I'm not gonna put too many of those on, but I'm gonna go ahead and. Then we will feed our cameraman. We always do that, of course. Got to have a little crunch. That's right. the nice we thing need, about these tortillas. Yeah. So we're gonna have we're gonna have texture and What's crunch that? and. Oh my gosh. Does that look delicious? We're, we're, yeah, we're we're really I'm gonna measure out one tablespoon, so <laughs> how do you measure strips in a spoon? Well, I, I only want half of the calories. <laughs> You're hilarious. Oh, we, we're making a fun show. We don't want any old boor, boring show. Okay. This room. Okay. Oh, you know what? Let's try a little lime juice. I think oh, that'll give it a little, a little zing. Yeah, we want a zing. Yeah, because I do like fresh squeezed We lines. want fun and zing, um, and we chill. want, I said autumn, but actually fall is favorite. I was going to say awesome, but. Okay, just a couple of It would be drinks. awesome autumn fall. Okay. okay, thank you. We'll let you yeah, we can see what you're doing here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. It's going to be hot, so we're going to have to blow. 
Uh, well, it was spin. We're not oh, sharing. Oh, no, hold on. We're not sharing. Oh, my spin's... No, this was your spin. Oh. <laughs> okay. No. Sisters. Now, now for the taste <laughs> test. It's like... Okay. We, we might not have a mask on, but we're not sharing. No. Not now. Okay, you gotta get a little of everything. And Jenny me. Bauer says, hello, sorry, I'm late. Oh, hi, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. Okay, hold on. I need to get a piece I just of... got my carpets clean, so I'm glad you got yours clean today. I need to get a piece of chicken in there. Okay, this is really hot. Can you see the steam? This oh, my God. This is so good. I swear, I eat well once every two weeks. <laughs> That's terrible now. I'm kidding. Oh it is God. really, really good. That mm. is delicious. Mm. You get a little bit of a bite from that. Um, you got something in your mouth. Uh oh. Um, <laughs> well, that's that's when you're really having fun. When you're on your face. You know who your friends are when they tell you you got something on your face or something in your teeth. I know. If they don't tell you, I know. Or your mascara is hanging on your eye. They're not your friend. I know. I know. So my friends would tell me. I know. So would mine. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I would tell I'm you. Not lying. This, yeah. I'm 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 bibbing up. A little bit of everything is yeah. just delicious. Well, How I'll tell you what. If anybody watches this and doesn't make it. Or doesn't give it to their cook. I don't mm. know what to tell you. And I'm passing this on to Ramika. So if, mm. if you watch it, Ramika, I think you better make it. You're going to watch it. <laughs> and I'm telling you, if you prep your chicken the day before. Mm -hmm. And she just did this. Actually, I saw her uh, shredding the chicken last week. Yeah. Because we have that's a restaurant easy. that's providing some of the food right now during mm -hmm. the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And um, I want to give a shout out um, to... Restaurant. I can't think of a name. Nice. No. I'm, I'm, I'm having a brain in part. Well, you'll have to. I'll post, post it. it. I'll post it. Yeah. Because they've been awesome. Mm -hmm. um, they actually been providing it for Talbert House too, as oh, well as Recovery right. Center. And, and uh, I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, but I will post that mm. and thank them. But they've been giving some food and been really great. And then Ramita's been cooking and using their food and her food. And so this is just totally awesome. This this should get a five star. I know. And actually, you know what? Yeah. I like the taco. Really? I, I do. No. In the no, fall? No. Like, this is... I, I well, went. we've always been opposites. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So that's okay. We're the same, but mean, different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But yeah. if you want to do this, same recipe. Right. Two cups less broth. Mm -hmm. Change the chicken to the beef. Right. And you will yeah. have the best yeah. chili. Yeah. Or vegetarian. For football. I, I eat a ton of vegetarian. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I would even like vegetarian. Yeah. It was Especially so if it awesome. has the same seasonings. Yeah. It'll taste just like a taco. Well, my favorite now mm -hmm. um, is actually bean and cheese enchiladas. Oh, you know what? Me too. Oh, I'll make those next time. Oh, me too. Those are delicious. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I do a ton of bean and cheese, everything. And I, they're oh, so easy. I know. I know. Yeah. So. I'm going to add veggies or not or whatever, but I'm yeah, fine. definitely. Darn, I wish I could think of that restaurant. I feel so bad. <laughs> I want to thank everybody who visits. We've been having a lot of followers, a lot of people wa um, watching. Please continue because, um, you know what? We're in a pandemic, and this is just so fun to do. A lot of people are cooking at home, and I advise you to. It's safer. It's more fun. It's more healthy. You can do a click list at Kroger's. I know a lot of other um, places have stuff like that, too. And you don't have to go to the store. Um, if you do go to the store, please wear your mask. Um, I saw people today with gloves on as well. You know, they got the little kitty mask, which are really cute. Um, so just go for it. Yeah. Make some fun, healthy food. And if you're going to have friends over, this is perfect. But uh -huh. if you're not going to have friends over, yeah. this will last in your refrigerator four to five days. Yeah. So what you do is if it's just you. And that's standard for everything, really. Everything, for as long home. as it's cooked. Restaurant food is two days, leftovers. At home food is mm -hmm. four to five days. I wouldn't say that with like raw foods. No, but no, once no, it's no. cooked, once it's cooked, four to five days, yeah. and actually all your toppings, as long as yeah. you have them covered and sealed, yeah. they'll last and be fresh. And the well. freezer, you can do about six, four to six months, as long oh, as yeah. you, you seal it properly mm -hmm. and um, this is date a and the only reason I'm mm -hmm. saying that is because there's not noodles in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think me and my mom both tried doing um, chicken noodle soup over in the freezer. Noodles not so much, yeah. No, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. We decided that if we did chicken noodle soup again, mm -hmm. we'd cook the noodles separate. Right. He, you can freeze the rest of the chicken soup, mm -hmm. warm it up, and then cook your noodles on the side and add them. Yeah, this is so awesome. I can't stop eating. I know. So we're going to have to close. So I'm sorry. It's just too good. <laughs> too good. Thank okay. you so much from the Recovery Center of Hamilton County. Maria signing off.
Linda signing off. Okay. Bye. Happy Thank fall. You. Happy fall.